Yo, yo, we're back in our FX. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to get this crazy zoom out transition FX. This transition looks super, super smooth. And the best part is we'll be not using plugin to do it. Like we'll be using the stock FX on After FX to achieve this transition. So let's just get into After FX and show you how to do it. So firstly, you can see I have all these clips. I'm going to showcase you on this middle one. So yeah, firstly, what we're going to do is select our footage and hit S to bring up the scale on there, right? This and hit the stopwatch in the scale firstly and put this keyframe over the end of your clip and then just zoom it in around like for 300 or 400 according to your liking i like to go around like 300 or 400 so around like this you can zoom it in more if you like but for me this is enough then i'ma just easy these keyframes right here then go over to the graph and now make a simple graph right here make sure you're in value graph and make a graph like this like this and now after that if i play that through you can see we have this simple zoom in right here zoom out right here nothing too crazy yeah something like this so this is basically the base of our effect now we'll be actually start adding effects on here so firstly we're gonna add an adjustment layer and put it over our footage too and right here firstly what i'm gonna add is a warp uh, if you don't know this is a really cool effect that comes to the auto effect that allows to create like any type of warp basically but for us right now in warp style we're gonna set it to face eye and set that shit to zero right here and at the start of a clip hit the stopwatch and then go around like i would say on like five or six frame before your transition so around like here and we also gonna add a keyframe in here which will be a zero one and then go back to your first keyframe which is in the cart go forward one frame so so exact one frame after that keyframe then add a minus 100 value in here which should create a keyframe as well to create this like crazy warp effect at our like second clip only and it shouldn't affect our like footage too so yeah just make these keyframes and we're gonna easy ease this go into the graph make sure i in value graph again i'm gonna zoom it in on my timeline and in this graph right here just make it something like this something like this yeah make your graph something like this and then after you play that through you can see we already have this crazy zoom out effect but yeah we are still not done yet we got a lot of effect to add on this to make it even smoother by the way just turn on the motion blur on your like adjustment layer as well so the warp also has some motion blur in here like that and now after this we're gonna add a uh, optic compensation in here reverse lens distortion and we're gonna do the complete opposite with this one so we in the cut we're gonna bring this up so bring this up to around like 150 right here and hit the stopwatch in there and bring up the keyframes and go one frame before that and set it to zero and go over to your end of the keyframe of your scale one and set that to zero now we just gonna easy these as well go into the graph and make a graph like this nothing too tight in here something like this and now after your graph you can see our effect is pretty much done but to spice everything up i like to add another adjustment layer so add another adjustment layer before your main adjustment layer and in this adjustment layer i'm gonna go over to my animation presets in my user presets i'll use the fx and transition bundle no plugin version to add some shakes in here so i'm gonna go into the feature to and add something like a seam iconic shake right here and just line up the keyframe and it will add this crazy shake right here with the with the warp so it looks super super hard i feel like maybe i'm gonna just squeeze in the first keyframe and now if i play that through you can see it is looking really dope with that shake so yeah that's why i love like using essential effects on every single project of mine because it makes the process way more easier and if you don't already know i just dropped the no plugin version of it so you don't even need sapphire anymore to use it so yeah if you want to grab it down below i'll link in the description 80 plus presets for your music video waiting for you but yeah with that i think our effect is pretty much done now you can copy this effect on your any clips so i'm a copy so i'm a copy all these keyframes into my second clip so i'm a copy in here and copy this adjustment layer as well bring out the keyframes and just line it up into here as well something like this that easily and i'm gonna copy this one more time and bring up the keyframe of 
that as well select those and put it at the end so we get a loop and at our first clip i'll also be copying these keyframe off the scale and putting it right here and then copy these adjustment layer into that as well so bring up the keyframe and just right here like that and now after that if you play that through you can see we have this crazy zoom edit going on right here so yeah that's how you create this zoom out f8 i hope you like this video if you did please please consider hitting the like button because it helps this video to like get to a new audience and i would really appreciate that and if you want to be locked in with vfx sauce like these i be uploading consistently in this channel so yeah please make sure to subscribe but yeah i guess that's it for today and i'll see you on the next one peace